Hrvatska. The old town of Zagreb, the area known as capital, makes up part of the upper town and is seat to the Archbishop of Zagreb. It is because of this that it is called capital, and it refers to the term canon, which refers to the leader of the Roman Catholic Church. History The first existence of capital is confirmed in late 1000 AD, or CE, when King Ladislaus of Hungary and Croatia founded the Zagreb diocese. Soon after, the king's residence, as well as the seat for the archbishop and their cathedral, would be built in the southeast end of Kaptol. The canons of the area ruled Kaptol and constructed their cathedral in early 1200. They also established the feudal system of Kaptol serfs, which was the beginning of a new settlement, Novoves, today Novoves Street. Just a few years later, the Mongols invaded and the cathedral was badly damaged. In the 13th century, two Gothic churches were added to Capitol. During the Middle Ages, defensive walls and towers were built around the cathedral and the bishop's house. This was due to his fears that the invading Turks would seize it. Fortunately for him, the Turks were defeated in Sisak before they made it to Zagreb. In the 1500s, additional towers and walls were added, which have all but one survived till this day. In Opatovina, you can see the surviving houses of the residents of Capital back in the day. But in Dolats, where houses once stood, they were pulled down to make way for the food market, which continues to this day. Today. Today, Capital still maintains its boundaries, but is equally integrated into wider Zagreb. If you want to visit Old Zagreb, all you have to do is head to the center. Within its slender boundaries, you have Opatinova Park, Dolat's food market, and about a million and one restaurants and bars. And of course, the cathedral which started the whole thing. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out this one? or this one, or even this one, or hit the redhead to see the whole library.